Next, I'll be joined by the comedian Alexi Sale to review a bold new exhibition here at Tate Liverpool which brings together work by three different artists, Turner, Monet and the American painter Cy Twombly. The common thread being that each produced some of his most radical work during the twilight years of his life. <laughs> They say that with old age comes wisdom, but so too does decrepitude and a growing realisation that time's running out fast. It's that bittersweet truth that lies at the heart of Tate Liverpool's major new exhibition. The idea is that by comparing the later works of three highly individual artists, certain common preoccupations might emerge. Personally, I've got my doubts about the show because while we know all about the links between Turner's visions and Monet's Impressionism, the presence of Cy Twombly, an American working so much later, seems like a little bit of a curveball. Well, I'm certainly intrigued. Keep young and beautiful. Joining me to assess the perhaps surprising rewards to be garnered from old age is Liverpool local and ex-art school student Alexi Sale. <laughs> Hi there. He's had a long, fruitful career in the arts. I want to see if together we can uncover some old dogs performing any new tricks. So first important decision, stairs or lift? I would run up the stairs, but in deference to you, we'll take the lift. Not that we're feeling our age. Age is just a number. A number which denotes biological decay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alexi, everybody knows you as a comedian. Well, not many people realise that you actually really love looking at art. Yeah, well, I, I did... Um, five years at art school, so uh, say five years before the easel. I don't have the same visceral response to painting that I have to theatre or films. Having said that, I've never actually been in a room with paintings like this before by myself, and it's extraordinary. I do get a completely visceral shock out of a picture yeah, like that. So yeah. There's smoke, there's smog, there's mist, there's light. I so much think that Turner in his 60s, I mean, nobody had seen stuff like this before. No, there was no art like this before. It's just such a leap into the unknown. How would a Victorian have felt looking at something like this? The, he, he got absolutely slagged off in the press. I mean, Ruskin, mm. who was a great supporter of Turner, mm. thought that by the time he got to this stage in his career, he had gone mad. And yet, painters of subsequent generations coming to this have gone, wow. He got there early. Mm. He got there mm. early. Almost the only person who really got Turner was Monet. You know, if we move to a Monet, you know, it could be a fragment of a painting by Turner. Uh, it's funny, you, you like to think, don't you, that you'd be the one person who saw the worth of it. But I was sort of thinking when we were just looking at that, I'd be probably one of those people slagging it off. <laughs> 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 I'm like, no, it's yeah, crap, it's, it's, it's great. rubbish. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great material. Been, yeah, it's gone nuts. <laughs> I mean, Monet compared to Turner, what do you think? Well, there's a kind of prettiness, isn't there, about Monet. This is a much more beautiful arrangement of colours, mm. you know, whereas uh, Turner is much more visceral in the, in the colours that he uses, you know, the pinks and the blues, the kind of trademark. So they called this bit of the exhibition Vital Force. And here's one of Twombly's last pictures. What, yeah. do, you, what do you make of it? Does it say in the catalogue that this is, this is the money shot, isn't it? This is... Uh, uh, ejaculatory, uh, preapic, sensual, expungation of <laughs> essential, <laughs> essential fluids. I read the same catalogue essay, I think. <laughs> There's this great phrase in it that they've taken from a German psychoanalyst called Torschlung panic, yeah. which apparently means slamming of the door panic. In other yeah. words, the door's about to close on your life and this is what you do. Yeah. When I look at late Monet and late Turner, I feel that I'm looking at artists who, as they're getting older and older, have a more and more burning desire to tell us what they saw in the world mm. before the lights go out. Yeah. Whereas Twombly, I feel, is, is almost summoning himself up to be alive with the picture. We've got dark walls. 
and Turner's sun suddenly starts to shine. Although it's a bit of a melancholy subject, this. Do you know about this picture? This is, this is, this is the picture that he painted for the memory of his best friend, David Wilkie, who was yeah. also a painter. Yeah. Turner, as he gets older, he becomes more and more sort of wedded to this idea that everything passes, everyone dies, yeah. one age gives way to the next age, so the age of sail gives way to the age of steam. Yeah. David Wilkie dies, my friends are going, and he's writing this very melancholy poem called The Fallacies of Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Miserable git. That's a pretty good grand finale. Monet Namphias water lily painting. It's funny, people forget how, how long he went on. I mean, he painted this in 1916. Yes. In the middle of the First World War. It's a shock when you see those dates, isn't it? To me, this is Monet's breakthrough moment, really, when he paints these pictures. Really? When he's nearly dead? When he's nearly dead, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think all his life he's spent struggling with what he can do with Turner's big idea that, that light and changing light is nature. That is what nature is. And in the water lily paintings, he takes that idea and he makes it huge. He expands it to the size of a mural in a way that Turner never did. This is Monet giving Turner to the rest of the 20th century and saying, look, it is all about light. Look at this light. Dive into it, bathe in it. And you can see that that's where Twombly comes out of with the gestures and the scribbles. So in that sense, the exhibition does succeed in joining the three figures together. Will you come with me every time I go to a gallery now? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're much richer than... When I go around the gallery, I just go, eh, that's quite nice. But, you know, you've got all this stuff. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs>